Good morning everyone. So today is my first day ever here in Thailand. I'm in Ao Nang in Krabi, one of the most popular tourist destinations here. I think mainly because there's loads of islands nearby and people do all the, the island hopping, things like that. We arrived here yesterday, last night, so I really haven't seen any of the place at all. And today we're not really going to do much, we're just going to be relaxing. There is a beach right nearby, so we're probably going to head there. We got this really awesome view here from our room. You can see all the limestone mountains there in the background. So it kind of reminded me of being in El Nido in the Philippines here, but I think Thailand has way more like limestone mountains than the Philippines does. So I'm going to be seeing a lot of that during these next few days. So yeah, right now we're just going to get, go and grab some breakfast and then we'll start the day. Alright, so we just come to this breakfast place. So all these prices are in Thai baht. One US dollar is 30 Thai baht, so that's like two dollars. Everything here is pretty much two dollars. Looking good. Banana pancake. Carol got the omelette as usual, right? finished our breakfast and now we're gonna be walking to the beach we are about like 30 minutes away we're not too close but yeah we decided to uh, take a walk just to look around a bit I think this is pretty much the main beach here in Ao Nang, obviously. <laughs> pretty big beach. There's a lot of people here, a lot of tourists, but since it's so big, you can kind of find a quiet spot. See all the way down there as well. Yeah, pretty huge. Loads of boats here for the, the boat tours as well. You can see there's actually an island over there, Ko Fada, I think it's called. So we want to go there maybe tomorrow. See the boats heading out right now. It was pretty cool to see the boats here as well, the long tail boats, pretty different to the boats that we saw, that we got in Philippines, so my first time seeing those in person, seeing them a lot in pictures and videos and stuff, and it's so humid today, so yeah, it's just a really good day to, to be on the beach, gonna get in that ocean soon. How's the water? That's nice, just warm. It's so hot today that I, I wish it was cooler. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind, it's like a, a warm bath. Pretty cool here with all the scenery. Check all that out. Pretty amazing backdrop. On the way here, on the walk as well, there's so many restaurants, like just non-stop restaurants, money exchange places, ATMs, so yeah, it's not gonna be hard to find stuff here. Tons of scooter rentals as well. So I'm interested to see how the prices compare to Philippines. So far the breakfast, um, it's pretty similar price to what I'd pay in Filipino restaurant for a waffle, like $2, coffee $1, so nothing much different there. But let's see the other things. I did go to another beach nearby. I saw loads of people walking along this walkway and I asked another tourist if there's a beach there and he said it's a lot nicer than the beach we're on now. So yeah, we're just gonna check it out. See, you got this walkway here, wooden walkway. So we're gonna head that way. Check it out, we got a monkey. Hello, buddy. I didn't know there would be monkeys here. So that was a nice surprise.
you tired, Carol? No. No. <laughs> yeah, we both need some water. We're pretty dehydrated. <laughs> Quite a lot of steps to go up there. It's very hot, like I said before. What is it? Viewpoint. Yeah, check it out. That guy was definitely right when he said this was a better beach than uh, Ao Nang. I'm not even sure what this beach is called, but you can see here, just barely anybody here. A lot nicer too, because you're really close to all like the mountains behind, so yeah, that's really nice. I think here is actually like a private resort, but you don't have to pay to get in here. You can come in, you just gotta write your name down on a book. Yeah, and then it's all yours basically. So we're definitely gonna end up just chilling here for uh, the rest of the day now. All right, time to get back in the ocean. The ocean looks better here, like as if it's clean, cleaner than the other. Oh, then Ao Nang. All right, see you later, Carol. screen you can see here from the ocean how amazing the backdrop is here Just awesome mountains pretty impressive stuff and hopefully this is a sign of what's to come over the next month here in Thailand so that was funny I just got this bottle of water here from a restaurant on this beach so first the guy was like do you want a small bottle of water or a large bottle so I was like okay I want a large bottle and then I got to the the place where I got to pay and then the lady was like, yeah, that's 273 baht. And then I was like calculating in my head and I was like, that's almost, that's like eight, nine US dollars for a bottle of water. So I was like, hell no, give me the small one. So I got this small one, I think it was like 83. So just under, yeah, dollar, I guess that's like a dollar 50, dollar 60 or something. So yeah, crazy price, eight, eight, nine dollars for a bottle of water. It wasn't even that big either. So <laughs> pretty funny, resort life. Decided to walk to the pier. We didn't realize, but it's a floating plastic pier, so it's pretty funny to walk on. Feels like you're gonna fall, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the waves. But once again, check it out. I like that uh, lonely limestone mountain as well. In the drone shots, look pretty cool. And there's quite a few people like kayaking and paddleboarding here, so you can rent that. I think it was like 200 baht for um, two hours. That's what I read on a sign. So how much is that, Carol? 200 baht in dollar. Uh, less than seven dollars. Less than seven dollars. Must be pretty awesome though, kayaking around here. If I wasn't feeling so lazy, I'd do it. And there in the background, you can see the first beach we're on, Ao Nang Beach. So we walked over here. And then we found this beautiful place. Uh, can I do a front flip? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, worst front flip ever. I think we're heading out now. We're kind of hungry, we gotta have lunch. I think it's already pretty late, like 2 or 3 p.m. Definitely not gonna check the restaurant here if, if uh, water was $8. 
I'm scared to know how much the food must be. I'm out of my league in this place, so yeah, we'll get some cheaper food in the in the main center. Out of my league, this is Carol. Monkeys everywhere here. <laughs> Look at the size of this guy. This one has a glass. Like. Oh yeah, this guy stole a glass. How's that banana milkshake? It's a banana milkshake, I can smell it. Oh, that's some good banana milkshake. <laughs> yeah, me and Carol never had our uh, injection, right? Yeah, right, right. Rabies injection. <laughs> so we don't want to get too close to the monkeys. They seem pretty peaceful, more or less. Look like they were rubbing people's drinks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they want food. Yeah, so don't walk th around them with food. <laughs> They'll steal it from you. So inspired by the monkeys, decided to get my own banana smoothie. Carol as well, mango, right? And that was just under two dollars each, right? Pretty big. We basically only had that mango shake for, for lunch. We didn't even eat any more food. It was like a really thick yogurt in it, so we both were pretty full. But now it's nighttime. We just come out to some restaurant, Thai restaurant here. It's been really hard for me because I've never actually mentioned it before, but I don't eat meat and I'm allergic to eggs, all nuts, and all shellfish. And that's pretty much all the menus here, so I've been having a really hard time. I basically have to make a special request for just like vegetables with noodles or vegetables with rice. That's how it's been today and yesterday. I do, however, eat fish though. They do have that here, but it's really expensive. It's kind of like uh, $10 for fish. So for Southeast Asia, that's definitely expensive. That's almost like American price in some places. So it's not really my budget to eat fish every day, but obviously there's gonna be days where I'm just gonna eat fish. But yeah, we'll have to see how it goes during this next month. Carol got herself a Western style burger. <laughs> Yesterday I got like a Thai... Thai food, right? Food, yeah. And, and you couldn't handle the spiciness. Too spicy, it was very good, but too spicy. Yeah. And this is like around five dollars, four or five dollars. All right, so here's the dish they put together for me. Just vegetables, rice, pretty good portion. I'm not even sure how much it's gonna be, I'll let you know. All right, we just got a banana pancake, and what's yours? Nutella pancake. Nutella pancake, just under a dollar each for dessert. Yeah, it's not. A and a real pancake is more like a crepe. Yeah, it's more like a crepe. But quite a lot of food, right? For a dollar. Back at the Airbnb now. So I didn't mention, but the the meal that we had was around, I think, $9 overall. So yeah, pretty good price. My food was um, just under $3. So pretty cheap for for Thailand anyway. And I just uh, checked now and I think we've only spent like $40 for the whole day, so yeah, so it's been a cheap day. Obviously we didn't really have lunch properly, we just had a smoothie, so you could probably add like another $10 onto that, $50 if we had eaten properly. But yeah, it's just because we, um, we didn't get any transport right, we walked down 30 minutes to the beach and we also walked back, so that's why I ended up being that cheap and yeah, there was no fees to enter the beaches or anything. And also it was cheap because the Airbnb that we're staying at is only $15 a night, which uh, definitely seems to be cheap for around here. Um, that was for three nights, called Greenleaf Guest House. Really good guest house. So we just have a drawer, we have um, a fridge. Never got a fridge in Philippines, even in the nice places. They seem to give us two bottles of water every day as well. Bathroom's pretty big, got hot water, so that's good. 
So my first impressions of Thailand have definitely been, yeah, positive. Um, since I'm in the most popular part, Krabi, I actually thought it was going to be way busier than it is. I know there's quite a lot of people here, but I think I had an expectation that it'd be even more people, so... So yeah, it was pretty good, and then we went to that other beach that wasn't really far from the main part of Ao Neng, and it was pretty much empty, so it's quite easy to find an empty spot. The food, I'd still say very positive. I know I, I can't say it's bad just because I'm allergic to everything. But the, even the food that I have eaten though seems to be very tasty. I don't know what sauce they put on the vegetables and stuff, but yeah, really delicious. The price is obviously a bit more expensive than the Philippines for food. A few dollars every meal more expensive, but you can still easily find cheap food here. I didn't even eat street food, so if you do street food, I'm pretty sure you could get stuff like really cheap. Internet seems good. Um, I've been able to upload my vlogs really easily. So, not sure if that's just this place that I'm staying or just Thailand in general. And also it's been funny with the, the language barrier. Uh, I've already had some funny incidents today of just people not understanding. We're trying to get like hair curling cream for, for Carol and I think the guy took me to a part with cream for men that are balding. <laughs> so, I was like, no, I don't, I mean, I might be receding a bit, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not looking for that cream, no. And, um, oh yeah, we went to a restaurant and I was like, are you gonna be, are you gonna be open later on? And the only thing that me and Carol understood was, I think, hospital potato closed. <laughs> That's how we understood. So, we understood hospital potato closed and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. And then, that we, then we left. So, yeah, I guess around here, even though it's very touristy, a lot of people don't really speak English. They just know the basic stuff for their service. Usually if you try and ask anything different, yeah, it just goes all over the place. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, it's going to be funny. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next few days. Tomorrow we're going to try and just go straight to an island near here, that one that I mentioned earlier, Koh Bada. We've got to work out how to get there. And then, um, not even sure what we're going to do the next days, but that's what's coming up. So if you like this video, just drop a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.